Howdy, howdy. Get ready, because today we're going to discuss why NASA ultimately canned its Apollo program. Now let's begin the clock. During the 1960s, a certain JFK decided to send humans to the moon, and so rather quickly, the US shifted their pre-existing Apollo program, set up by Eisenhower, to aim for the moon. In total, there would be 17 Apollo missions, with Apollo 17 concluding the program in December of 1972. The reason for the program's cancellation can be summed up by budgetary decline, but the reason for this decline is twofold. First, the missions had already succeeded in getting men on the moon, and by the time of Apollo 17, the public had already largely tuned out of the missions. And secondly, there were genuine safety fears. Whilst the first program cuts began a few months prior to the Apollo 13 disaster, Apollo 1 had already proven the danger of space travel to American officials, and the risk to benefit ratio for the missions at large was dwindling with each mission. And the space race had already slowed down and was entering a period of cooperation, with the first Apollo Soyuz test project being discussed in 1972, the same year as the final Apollo mission. Now over 50 years later, the Artemis program has begun aiming to put humans back on the moon in the coming decade. And we're done, subscribe!